Hello, welcome back to my channel, Charlie's Lessons. And in this video, we'll take a look at what I consider to be the top five AI tools for teachers in 2023. So 2023 has been the year of AI, and there's been a whole plethora of AI tools made available for teachers. Now, one thing I do want to say before we get started with this list is that to understand that AI tools are not going to do your job for you. They can help, but a lot of what these AI tools produce can be quite, let's say, unimaginative or not very creative and I think it's important that us as human beings is to check this content for what it is and if you're going to take it into the classroom do not just take it in blindly have a look through it if you're building a quiz a presentation a lesson plan or even an activity do not just take it on face value make sure you look into it and make sure is this going to be valid valuable reliable for my students so the first tool I want to share with you today in this list is Curipod. Now, if you're familiar with Nearpod, then you just need to take Nearpod and add some AI. So let's take a look at what this can offer you as a teacher. So once you get to the main website, you'll see a list of all the Curipods, so the presentations that you've already made. Let me just show you what we can see if we go to Discover. Here we can see all the community-made materials, and also we can look at the categories, so things like math, creativity and exploration, brain breaks, etc. Let me show you what Curipod can do. If we go to create lessons, and you can see here that we've got two options. We can either generate a presentation from scratch using AI, or we can make our own, so slide by slide. So if we just look at the generate with AI, you can see here all the different kinds of slides that you can make in your presentation. So the thing I really like about Curipod is it's not only a presentation tool, it's also an interactive tool too, so you can get your students to join the Curipod, much like you would join a Nearpod or a Kahoot using their phones and taking a pin number and entering that on the website. So they can take part in slides that are, for example, this one that says, would you rather? So there's a would you rather question for the students and multiple choice questions. There's even these exit tickets, which you can add at the end. There's also a drawing prompt, which I think is a really fun thing to add to a presentation. For example, did they get it, Paul? So you can find out if your students understood a particular concept that you've been teaching. If we go to generate a new one, it's gonna include a variety of different slides, just informational slides, but also interactive slides too. The second tool in this list of AI tools for 2023 is a tool that builds quizzes for your classes. And the name of this website is called Conquer. So all we need to do is go to app.conquer.ai and you'll come to this homepage right here. Now you can see there's a few examples below, but if we look on the left-hand side, we've got explore, which means we can look at all the quizzes that are ready-made to use in your classroom. And we can go to activity, which actually is a record of all the quizzes that you've made and shared with your students. So if we look at an example here about wild animals, if we go to responses, we can see here that a student called Pablo did this quiz and got 40% of the questions right. So to make a quiz, all you need to do is go to this field here and write in what you want the quiz to be about. Uh, how to use adjectives in English. Now it's gonna ask us what kind of question types. I'm gonna choose mix because I wanna have a variety. I can't change the number of questions. If I was to change it to multiple choice, I could go anywhere up to 10, And but I'm gonna stick with mixed and you choose the grade level. And now you can either include some material that you would like to be tested or not, but I'm not gonna include it that. So I'm just going to generate. So we just go to share and we can now share this with our students either via QR code, we can print it on paper or as a PDF, or we can export it to forms, which gives you obviously the advantage of using forms is response data. So looking at what your students' answers were in more detail. The third tool in this list is Twee. Now to get to this website, all you need to do is go to app.twee.com. You can use all of these tools here. So for example, this is a really nice tool here, which is watching a video. So you can take any video, you can turn it into text, you can make questions, you can create a summary, you can even create warm up questions. So for example, you're going to take a video into the classroom, but you'd like your students to have some discussion activity beforehand so they can get an idea about what the video is about. Then 
on to the next one using a text. Now, AI is really good at using text and building certain activities from that text. So you can see here, we've got a wealth of different activities, things like ABCD questions, true or false, even I like this one about creating three titles for a text. So you can create a summary of a text and get your students to choose the correct summary, which of this will test their understanding of the text. Then we can look at building their vocabulary. So things like word definitions, extracting collocations from text, which is really useful, and even word formation exercises, which is particularly useful, especially if you're preparing your students for the Cambridge exams. As with most AI tools that produce lesson material, it also gives you this option to create a speaking prompt. So these are ideas or questions that will get your students speaking in class. Once you're done, you just click on the left hand side here and click as save as a PDF. And then you can take that, print it at your school, maybe send it to your students or even just present it in class. The fourth tool I want to include in this list is forms.app. Now, much like number two, this is a tool that helps you build quizzes and tests for your students. But the big difference with this one is it has a lot more to offer you. So if we look here on the left hand side, once we're going to build a form, we can actually look at all these different categories. So maybe you don't want to write a quiz, but you want to do some other kind of form that might be useful outside of the classroom for your students. So you can see here, we can customize our forms, all the different backgrounds. If we go to generate the forms, then much like Conquer, all we need is a prompt. And if we go to the left hand side, we can actually change the design, which is not possible with Conquer. So we can do things like perhaps have this different color. So using a theme from WhatsApp, even going into something like an animated background. So these bubbles that come up from behind, even these fish that come swimming past the form while your students are doing this test. Once your quiz is ready, you can share it either by sharing a link directly with your students, you can make a QR code, you can even send it by Facebook, WhatsApp, LinkedIn, etc. And you'll also get a list of the results when your students complete those tests. I guess the big difference actually here between Conquer and Forms app is that Conquer actually lets you record the student's name even if they don't have an account. With Forms app, you do have to make an account. My fifth and final tool in this list of AI tools for teachers in 2023 is a tool called called Ghibli. Now, if you've used Kahoot, Quizzes, Blookit, Jinkit before, then you're going to be familiar with how this website works. But the difference here is that it's built purely on AI. So once we're at the Ghibli website, we can again, much like other sites, we've got the Discover section where we can look at some ready-made quizzes that we can take into our classroom. We can look at a library, which is ones that we've made or we can look at classes. So this is actually something really cool. We can create classes and assign our students to that class. So once we go to our library, I'm gonna show you an example here. So we've got one about the past simple here. So we can either play this game alone or we can host it much like we would with a Kahoot or quizzes. So we just go to host, it's gonna give us some options here, so like making how many teams we want and so on. And we're gonna to go to continue and it should come up with a code that we need to give to our students to join the game. I can share this link with our students and then I can begin to add them to each different team. Now I like this because you can think about how strong or weak certain students are and you can build the teams that are balanced. Just to give you an idea of what kind of options are available when you do build a game on Ghibli, we've got multiple choice questions, true or false. We can actually type an answer to. And one thing I really like is that you can actually download the PDF of your quiz. We can also share the quiz using this game link here. Now Ghibli is a new website, so there's not a lot of community made material here yet, but I think this could be a really interesting tool for teachers who are looking to build a very quick game in class about a certain topic, perhaps just to get an idea of what your students know or don't know about something. Thank you for watching this video on my top five AI tools for 2023. Now remember, AI is not going to save your life, but it's gonna help. So. Good luck with these tools. Let me know in the comments if you do decide to use any of these in your classroom and I'll see you in the next video.